Were you involved in the July 25th Trump Zelensky phone call or preparations for the call? No, I was not. Were you involved in the deliberations about the pause in military sales to Ukraine as the Trump administration reviewed newly elected President Zelensky's commitment to corruption reforms? For the delay in? Um, for the pause. The pause? Uh, no, I was not. Were you involved in the proposed Trump Zelensky, later Pence Zelensky meetings in Warsaw, Poland on September 1st? No, I was not. Did you ever talk to President Trump in 2019? No, I have not. Mick Mulvaney? No, I have not. Thank you, Ambassador. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, what the Ambassador is doing here today. Uh, this is the House Intelligence Committee that's now turned into the House Impeachment Committee. Uh, this seems more appropriate uh, for the Subcommittee on Human Resources at the Foreign Affairs uh, committee, uh, if there's issues with, with employment, disagreements with the administration, it would seem like this would be a more appropriate setting uh, instead of an impeachment hearing where uh, the ambassador is not uh, a material fact witness uh, to anything, any of the accusations that are being hurled uh, at the president for this impeachment inquiry. I have several questions I think uh, Mr. Castor wants to get to. Uh, I know Ms. Stefanik, you had a, a few quick questions for the ambassador. Yield to you, Ms. Stefanik. Thank you, Mr. Nunez. Ambassador Yovanovitch, thank you for being here today. Suspend. The gentlewoman will suspend. What is the interruption for this time? It is our time. The gentlewoman will suspend. You're not recognized. Mr. Nunez, you are minority counsel. I just recognized. Mr. Under the Department. House Resident 660, you're not allowed to yield time except to minority counsel. The ranking member you're, yielded time to another member of Congress. Nope. That is not accurate. You're gagging the that young lady That is accurate. From New York. Ambassador Yovanovitch, I want to thank you for being here today. gentlewoman will suspend. You're not recognized. This is the fifth time you have interrupted members of Congress, duly elected members of Congress. The woman will suspend. Uh, Mr. Chair, we, we control the time. Uh, it's been customary of this committee that whoever controls the time uh, can yield to whoever they wish. If we have members of Congress that have a few questions, it seems appropriate that we be able to let Ms. Stefanik uh, ask her questions. Mr. Nunez, you or Minority Council recognized? All right. Mr. Castor, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Nunes. Ambassador, welcome. Uh, thank, you for, thank you for your service. Um, 33 years, an extraordinary career. Um, it really has been a, a remarkable um, a tenure for you at the State Department. I uh, also would like to thank you for participating here today. This is a, a, a crazy environment. Uh, this, Hearing room is uh, turned into a television studio. You stated, although then and now I've always understood that I served at the pleasure of the president, I still find it difficult to comprehend that foreign and private interests were able to undermine U.S. interests in this way. Individuals who apparently felt stymied by our efforts to promote stated U.S. policy against corruption, that is to do the mission, were able to successfully conduct a campaign of disinformation against the sitting ambassador using unofficial back channels. Do, do you believe that President Trump was aiming to weaponize corruption in Ukraine by removing you? I, I, I don't know that. Okay. Um, do you believe your removal was part of some scheme to, to make it easier for um, elements of the Ukrainian establishment to um, do things counter to U.S. interests? I think that's certainly what the Ukrainian establishment hoped. I think that in addition, uh, there were Americans, um, these two individuals, um, who uh, were working with Mayor Giuliani, Mr. Parnas, and Mr. Fruman, who have recently been indicted by the Southern District of New York, who um, indicated that they wanted to uh, change out the ambassador. And I think they must have had some reason for that. And do you think they were seeking a a different type of ambassador that would allow them to achieve some of their objectives? I don't know what other reason there would be. Okay. Is uh, Ambassador Taylor the type of person that would facilitate those objectives? No. So um, Ambassador Taylor is a man of high integrity? Absolutely. And he's a, he's a good pick for the post? 
He is. I would note that he is the charge out there, as, as of course you understand. So no ambassador has yet been, uh, or no candidate has yet right. been named uh, to, to the position. But he certainly has had a decorated career serving his country. Absolutely. A man of the highest integrity.